Hello and welcome to another Zebra Tripad getting started video. So let's talk about Scale Master. And here I have a model and I'm using live booleans. So I have multiple subtools in my subtool palette, as you can see here. And I want to work with real world scale, either for 3D printing or for a game environment or something like that. And you can now go and access the Scale Master through your palettes window. And if you go over here, you can do two things. You can start by setting your scene scale. So I can do this and ZBrush is going to give me generic units, as you can see over here. And I'm going to actually select a different subtool, this one more specifically, which is the main body of our model. And to set the scene scale, by default, ZBrush gives you a generic size units and you need to tell it which unit are you working with. In my case, I want to work with centimeters, but you can also work with feet and inches and millimeters, but I'm going to work with centimeters. Now, I can now convert those generic units, which is 1.1, 0.33, 1.2. I can convert them to centimeters, meaning that I can make this 1.1, for example, keep that size, but be in centimeters, which would mean it would be 0.1. Or I can use this 1.1 generic unit as a centimeter instead of millimeter. So if I do this, it's going to now scale it up in a sense, like related to the world. Now, in order to center everything to the world, to the center of the world, I can press this button. And if I press it, you can see it's going to center every single subtool to the center of the world while keeping that ratio. And you can see my live bullions are in the correct position. Now, in order to set those sliders, so let's say I want to scale this up, I want to scale this to be a little bigger. So I'm pretty sure this console is around 30 centimeters. I'm going to first click the sliders to subtool size, and it's going to look at my model and it's going to match those sliders to the size. So if I mess this up, let's say I've changed this and I click the sliders to subtool size, it's going to reset those sliders to the current size of the subtool that I have selected. Now, I can lock that slider ratio now, and let's say in the Z axis, which is the one from this part to this part, I want to make this 30 centimeters. So if I do this and press and type in 30, everything else now is ratioed to that number, and I can resize a single subtool or resize all. If I untick this box, it's going to only resize the subtool that I have selected. But in this case, I want to resize all. So now if I resize the subtool, you can see it's going to resize everything. It's too big for our screen. I'm just going to wait for it to do its thing. And then it's going to automatically frame the camera to your mesh. So now I'm pretty sure that this whole body is 30 centimeters from the front to the back. This is how you scale your scene using Scale Master. You can also, in case, for example, you're working on just some assets, some props or whatever, and you don't have, let's say you're doing a character prop, and you don't have your main character body with you, but you want to have a bounding box in order to tell ZBrush how tall you want all of your assets to be, for example. I can now generate, let's say, a millimeter unit helper, and you can see it's going to generate a one by one by one millimeter subtool. And if I want to see how this compares, for example, to inches, by changing that conversion to inches, and you can see the sliders are updated, I can now click this one unit helper. It's going to give me a one inch unit helper. Now, in order for me to create a bounding box for this, I can click this new bounding box subtool. And now, as you can see, I'm going to turn on transparency, turn off ghosts, and you can see that now my bounding box is tight. Let me turn off perspective, matches exactly all of the subtools that I have on my scene. Another thing you can do in case you're doing some 3D printing and your printer has a specific ratio or size that it works with is that you can unlock this. And let's say I'm working with 35 centimeters. 35 by 35 by, I don't know, 25, let's say, I can now create a new subtool with that exact ratio. You can also export to a specific unit scale. So let's say you're working with centimeters, but you want to convert this to inches to your other application or to your 3D printer or whatever you're working with. You can export to that specific unit type by clicking this button and naming your subtool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.